morning guys out of here on a cracking morning this morning going to try and get some live mullet this morning and then we're going to go out towards towards the drop over in some deeper water and we're going to try and put a live bait down and do some vibing a lot of color in the water still extremely brown yeah barely see one meter into the water so it's extremely extremely dirty today Got my good mate Chanel at the front there today. Yeah, so hopefully we can nail a few. I'm gonna give them a new vibe to go. Um, hopefully, hopefully we go all right today. Anyway, let's rip in, get out the drop over, try and get some live mullet first and then get out the drop over, see how we go. All right, let's rip in guys. Well, there's our first fish. I got that on a piece of bread. I certainly wasn't expecting a tailor, about a 35 centimeter tailor. Can't complain about that. We'll use this guy for bait or we might smoke him later, we'll see. Get him on the ice. The old mullet are on the bite here, thick. Just throwing it, oh, Chanel had one there. Oh, yeah, there's plenty around at the moment. Good little size too, eh? Not too big, not too small. Just right. Oh, oh that's a bigger one. Oh, I got a bigger one here. Ah, I think it's a mullet still. It's a big one, but... I think this is a slab bait, this one. Jesus. Well, is it a tailor? No, it's a big mullet. Too big for a livey. Oh, look at that. That is, that is a ripper of a mullet there. That's huge. Now, that, that's a bit large for a live bait, guys, but well over 30 centimetres. Getting up that 40 centimetre size. So... We're going to keep him for a slab bait, or I might even smoke him, put him in the smoker. I did have a tail earlier, but I involuntarily released him over the side. Oh, Chanel's on. She's broken the drought here. Good live bait. Perfect live bait. Yeah, the ones we're giving the go today. getting the live mullet on here got a good selection in the end we've got like 10 9 mullet quickly so pretty happy about that so we're just gonna have a live mullet down each and vibe at the same time what are you gonna bite Chanel you got one oh, I think he's sitting on you so just wait till you feel weight and then snag into him let's snag hard snag hard there we go, Chanel's onto the first one here. Didn't take long on the, oh, you, so you didn't hit set the hook hard enough. You really gotta rip, rip that hook into it, otherwise you won't set it. size me and Chanel are going to be taking the feed home today providing for the family we haven't been fishing for a week so we're due for a feed but yeah good eating size that one about 55 centimeters 
was Chanel's rod, but she was too slow <laughs> to slowly jump on it, so I smashed it. We had another one on earlier, but we dropped that one. But yeah, it's a good start. Good eating size, perfect eating size. We'll get him on the ice. Got our got the first flathead. I dropped one before on the vibe, but there's the first one on the vibe. Yeah, I had a nicer one on before I dropped him, but another good eating size, about 45 centimetres. We'll put him on the ice too. Getting a nice little feed now. Flathead each for me and Chanel. The family will be happy. We're not quite yet, but the family will be getting the feed. Hopefully we can get a couple more. Your rod's about due to go off, I reckon. Oh, straight on. Must have landed on his head. I'm still recording here. Got one on the vibe here. It, it must have landed on his head, literally, because he was on it the first jig didn't feel very big oh, just a really tiny flathead really small guy ah, flathead's a flathead cooked him well that's for sure Any size on the lures, good fun, eh? Jesus, really well. Just having a change of position here, we're gonna drift the channel in here. It's a lot quieter. Start to get a bit breezy out there in the open, so. I'm just going to drift the last of the run out tide here. We've only got a few mullet there. We'll probably have to go catch some more mullet. Got one here on the live mullet. Just next to the break wall here. What have we got here? Didn't feel that big. Oh, yeah, he's not bad. Another beautiful eating size. Oh, there we go. We've got three in the boat now. Is my prediction. Not what I want. <laughs> That's my prediction. Big Port Jackson shark. Oh, it's a banjo shark. The old banjo shark. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. They're quite a pretty little species, but yeah, not my target species, that's for sure. Geez, they've got tough mouths on them. You got those pliers, mate? Oh. I got it. Yep. Yeah. Right next to the boat there. Oh yeah, got Bonnie. Yeah, go on. I saw a swirl right next to the your you and I was like, oh that's not bad size. Hope the shark don't get him, knowing our luck today happened. Oh it's a tailor. Big ass tailor. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big ass tailor. Jesus. Oh, that is a horse of a tailor there. Just got a heap of bait fish coming up on the surface here. Bit of everything popping up. 
And this guy just smashed it. Where is the big tail at? Getting up that 50 centimeters. Whoa. Looks like a not a bad fish. Oh, big tailor was it? Yeah, big tailor. Yeah, I gotta start having to net these. He's a big tailor. Oh, I lost him. Lost him right there. That's all right. A big tailor hanging around here. Well, that was easy. I spotted a bit of movement on the water on the way in there and I threw my little spinner in there and instantly it's got smashed. Yeah, as soon as I hit the water, absolutely smashed me. I'm not sure what I got here, actually. I thought it might be a tailor in the shallows, but I think we've got the bonito we've been chasing. I think we've picked up the bonito we've been chasing in the estuary. Yep. Oh, it's actually... Oh, these are really weird, these ones. Uh, I forget what they call them. Lehman's Bonito. Leaping Bonito, I think they call them. Put the teeth on them. Yeah. See how they got stripes and That's spots. That's it. Another adventure done. The fish are starting to come back on the bite after the rain. Flathead are coming back on. Taylor, Bonito, Brim. So everything's starting to come back in that action now. Still a lot of colour in the water, a lot of run. Didn't actually get an incoming tide today, so it ran out. Well, it was running out when we got here and it's still running out now. So I think there's that much water in the system at the moment that it physically can't run in at the moment. So next weekend should be a bit better again as it starts to clear out. So hopefully get out there and do a bit better next time but yeah we got a good feed got the flathead and nice big tailor in there three flatheads so me chanel and the family will be eating well tonight but we'll be out of fish again tomorrow so and then we'll be hunting for some more next weekend all right we've got a nice simple catch and cook here if it's not simple, I'm not interested in cooking it. All my meals are pretty simple to cook, and they're all pretty tasty. So I've got the big tailor in there, cut him in half, squeeze him in there. I put about a 10 ml of water in the bottom there, just for a bit of moisture. It'll add to the flavor once it's all finished. Tailor's really good to put into the, into the oven, because it's quite a oily fish, so it keeps its moisture really well. Just caught him today, that tailor. Only caught him a few hours ago, actually. So can't get fresher than that. And tailor is best eaten fresh if you can eat it. All right, bit of parsley in there, straight from the garden. Tomato, just a bit I had left over. Just a full tom full tomato would be fine. Yeah, half an onion in there as well. There we go. And I've got a bit of lemongrass here from the garden too. Lemongrass is really nice thing to cook you don't generally eat it but it's good flavor nice lemony flavor which goes well with the fish all right so that can all go in there and get the lemongrass in the bottom might even put a couple of inside there there we go and now for the seasoning, we're going to go one lemon. Let's try and get a few of those pips out. Doesn't really matter if a couple go in. Get the majority out.
Most of it's going everywhere here. Getting most of it in there. All right, pepper. Now your seasoning is just add to whatever taste you like. So I like it. I like a bit of pepper in mine, so I'll put a fair bit in. Tiny little bit of paprika, just adds to the colour and flavour. Garlic salt. And just add to a bit of contrast in there. A couple of pickled jalapenos. And adds a little bit of spice, I like a little bit of spice on mine, so... And it adds a nice flavour, I find these pickled jalapenos, I use them a bit when cooking. They work quite well. So that's it. Give it a little toss around. The steam will cook it up anyway, and will disperse evenly. Get the foil over the top. Beautiful. Get the foil over the top there. And that's it. Chuck it in the oven. About 25 minutes. Depending on the size of the fish. It's quite a thick fish that one, so about 25 minutes will be ready. I'll we'll cut back shortly. And there we have it. Absolutely beautiful. I've tasted it already and wow, it is really nice. So I might lock that recipe in. I always change my recipe slightly through the however I feel like at the time, but wow, it's really nice this one. I'm really going to enjoy this meal. Yeah, fresh Taylor. You can't beat it in the oven. It really is. That was a nice big one. The whole Taylor there. Literally, this meal probably cost me a dollar. Half a tomato and half an onion. The rest I got from the garden, caught the fish. So, yeah, really good cheap meal. All right, guys. If you ain't fishing, you're wishing. And I'll see you guys on the water. Catches.